right, James. So why don't you take us through a typical day of what you normally eat? Cool. Come through. Check it out. What's going on everybody? It's Fatty Mansi here from Real Results Fitness and I'm actually heading over to James's house right now and we're gonna show you how we eat in a typical day starting with James. So follow me. What up? Yo. <laughs> what up man? Chilling man. Good. I feel like it's M2D Cribs up right. in here. It's what we do. <laughs> All right, James, so why don't you take us through a typical day of what you normally eat? Cool, come through, check it out. Bam! Oh, it's a rock. <laughs> All right, uh, do you mind if we take a look at what's inside these? I most, see some pancakes. Most definitely, most definitely. James, walk me through what we got here. All right, so this is typically what I get meal prepped. All my meals are prepped, so I already know what I'm gonna eat throughout the day. So in the morning, I usually have protein pancakes with like a chocolate chip peanut butter spread and a zero calorie pancake maple syrup. And for lunch, I usually have uh, about like 40 grams of protein with like 40 grams of carbs, maybe around like 15 grams of fat. So, you know, get that going. And then for dinner, I usually have like a lower carb meal just because I like the, the, the feeling of um, not feeling so full at night. So I have this 40 grams of protein with, and it has little nuts in it and it's probably around, you know, I'll say like 15 grams, 20 grams of fat. So I get my energy sourced from there. And also I have a protein bar throughout the day, a little crush bar or a, or a cookie, protein cookie. And at nighttime, before I go to bed, I'll usually have uh, a protein shake with two bananas in it. And also what I have here is like an omelet sandwich. I'll have like an omelet sandwich throughout the day as well. Okay, now are you eating all these pancakes at once or is this spread out over a couple of days? No, nah, no, nah. this is all in one meal. Like this is my breakfast. This with the peanut butter spread and the zero calorie pan pancake syrup. Okay. All, all in one day. Now to the naked eye, it looks like that's the only carbs you're getting in other than some like trace carbs from like the salad and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, where else are you getting some of your carb sources? Usually I get it around lunchtime. Like uh, the person that meal preps for me, they usually give me brown rice, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes. And that's where I typically get another source. And I also like throughout the day, I'll have like another sandwich somewhere where I fit in uh, for my macros. And I, I get a couple carbs from the protein bar and the, uh, and the protein shake. What's in the shake? Uh, and typically I have, I do two scoops of protein. I have one scoop of whey and one scoop of casein protein and about one and a half bananas, the frozen bananas. Now, okay, so you're mixing it with whey and casein. Is there a reason that you're doing both? Like, is, because it's a slower digesting car, uh, protein? Or what's the reason you mix whey and casein I, at the end of your day? I honestly, when I, when I drink casein protein, it just makes me feel a little bit fuller. So when I have it at night, I just feel like I'm completely full. And throughout the morning, like I'll wake up and I won't be starving. So it's not because case and slower digesting and you're scared of like muscle nah, getting burned just, off or anything. I don't, I don't, I don't actually believe in that. I just kind of, your calories, it's pretty much the calories that you're intaking, the, your, your body's going to know what to do with it. So, right. Yeah. Whether it's going to be in the next eight hours or the next, uh, you know, hour that your food's digesting. Yeah, exactly. It, it, oh yeah. And that's another thing. I don't time my meals. I don't say, oh, I'm going to have this, like say I miss like, uh, lunch or something like that. I'll have lunch and dinner all together. Okay. Uh, so there's no timing. I just I wake up and I'll just eat, and then throughout the day I'll just eat whenever. Yeah. So why why don't you time your meals? Uh, just because pretty much a calorie is a calorie, and your body knows what to do with your calories. So you know when people talk about like oh I don't eat at night because I'm gonna gain weight, that's false. Yeah. You know. 
you could you could eat carbs at night, guys. So if James wanted to have those pancakes for dinner instead of for breakfast, uh, he could completely do that. If yeah. someone invites you to go out to eat, do you just stick to the meal plan, or what do you do? Uh, no, uh, I'll most definitely go out and eat with them for sure. The only thing I'll do is maybe eliminate a meal or two depending on how high of a calorie meal I'm gonna intake. So if it's like pizza or burgers, um, I'll just make sure that it fits my calories throughout the day. All right, and then what if someone, what if you wanna go out to a bar or grab a drink or something, what do you do in that case? Uh, most definitely, I'll still go out with them as well and have a drink or two and just pretty much since I've been eating and working out you know great throughout the week a couple of calories extra won't hurt. Good so he's just sticking within his calories at the end of the week and he's still living a normal lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. James with all this food you're intaking with the pancakes, the shake, the peanut butter and everything how many calories are you totally taking in? It's about 2100 calories a day. Okay, and what's your macro breakdown? Macro breakdown is about uh, 210 to 220 in protein. Carbs are around like 170 to 180, and then fats are about 60 to 70 grams of fat. Okay, so he's at 70, 60 to 70 grams of fat. For 70, that might be higher for some people at that many calories. But as James explained earlier, uh, he feels more energy uh, off of higher fats. Uh, so that's why his carbs are sub 200. I want to thank James for taking us a, through a peek of his typical day. If you guys have any questions regarding the meals or any of the recipes, um, type down below in the comments and we'll get to you. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to take you through one of my typical days of eating. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you on the next video.